2015 Harson Grand Prix. I'm your host Nimsh, and this time I'm joined by Kaldi and Tice. Hello, guys. Welcome mm -hmm. to the table. How are you doing? Great, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. having a really nice day. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you, we just mm -hmm. seen you lost, but <laughs> it's you, you. still have a great chance mm -hmm. to go through. You just need to win the, the next match, right? Yeah, absolutely. One, one mm -hmm. more to go, and uh, I'm through. So just chilling now, mm -hmm. casting with us, you're having fun, and then you mm -hmm. just go win, and, and you're uh, into Monday. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. All right, and Tice, we heard the bad mm -hmm. news. What happened there? Yeah, I'm a bit upset. I lost 3-2, unfortunately, the last round. So, uh, yeah, it feels a bit sad. But, I mean, in this player field, top 20, it still feels like a pretty good wrestle. But I'm a bit sad now. Like, you want to go for the top 8. But, uh. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you will get better by casting with us, uh, with me and Kaldi. Mm -hmm. And the next match we are going to, sh uh, to see is Amaz versus Jörg. This is an elimination match. Mm -hmm. Kind of. They can't continue playing, but uh, with two losses, it's, it's really tough. So Amaz versus Jörg, both are 3-1. What do you guys know about those players? Um, I actually, uh, Jörg, he's uh, recently, like, he was really long playing for another French team, but he recently joined Millennium. That's what I know about him. And, uh, like, he, the French scene is, like, a bit, like, you don't see much of it, but, like, he's a really good player. And I know he practiced a lot with other French people for, for this tournament. I asked him about who's um, his testing partner, and uh, Jörg told me that he's mostly playing with Maverick. And uh, Maverick is known... I think top 10 in the world ranking right now. So a great mm -hmm. player, a great testing partner. And, you know, Nelenium has mm -hmm. a lot of players as well. Like great players uh, mm -hmm. that can help him out. But then there is Amaz, uh, Kaldi. What do you know about Amaz? <laughs> what can you tell us? Uh, a great streamer, winning a lot of tournaments at the end of 2014. Uh, he's been doing decently so far uh, in the tournament. Okay in, in tournaments recently, but he's mainly been a streamer. Uh, but the thing is to Mars that he takes the tournament really seriously and, and does tend to perform uh, very well, you know, so uh, you can't count him out just because he's a streamer, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Like a lot of people say, hey, he is a streamer, so maybe he's not that great at tournaments. But he is an undisputed IM, uh, IM champion. Mm -hmm. He won IM Shenzhen. He was second at IM uh, Katowice finals this year as well. At uh, last DreamHack Summer, he was in a top four, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I, gu I guess kind of the, the thing to note about Mars is, uh, you know, he lost to RDU, I believe, yeah, and with that insane rack uh, last year. I remember I was in the crowd. That was it was so amazing to see that, mm -hmm. that happening there, yeah. Uh, so we do see his decks here. It's going to be Druid, Hunter, and Warlock against Warlock, Druid, and Warrior. Should be interesting to see. Two of the same there, uh, just the Hunter and the Warrior. Oh, it looks like we ha actually have a Ram Druid in this tournament. Wow, oh, and wow. so high, actually, uh, with a 4-1 and Chasm Mystic. Oh, I saw that card also being played by Maverick, also in the Druid deck. So it looks like a really tech card from the Millennium players that they expected some kind of... Uh, like, it's pretty good, it's pretty decent against Hunter, but the problem is Hunter plays really well around their own traps. With uh, so this looks to be a mid-Warlock, uh, mm -hmm. and against Ram Druid, that should be pretty even, I'd say. The key thing would be the Ram for the Ram Druid, obviously, and, and the Silence, I think. The best way for uh, for Yog actually to get into this, uh, for, for Mars to get into this, would be for the power overwhelming into uh, uh, maybe on, on an egg or something in, in, into um, a huge, huge. Uh, oh wow! Player. The play from a Mars, not playing the flame up turn one, and he's like really reading Jog perfectly here. But like he had the inner rate keeper, what will be insane on the on the flame, flame up. Wow! How different is this matchup? than a uh, standard Druid? It's slightly better for the Druid. Uh, the Druid is in slight problems against the midlock if it's a double combo version, but with this ramp version, you know, you have less condi conditional cards, like you don't have the combo, but you have uh, like more five drops, more six drops. So you're more likely to draw a solid curve, but you are kind of less likely to get back into a game where you've already lost mm -hmm. against something like a Rogue and, and uh, you know, maybe maybe freeze mate, but that's not going to be the case here as uh, he's playing against his mid lock. You have also a bit like less dead draws. Like normally against Zoo, like you always have like what I had, uh, like big game hunter. You have like an Zavid draw. Like you have some so many cards that can be can feel a bit dead uh, against Zoo. Mm -hmm. The anyway coming out here, uh, a bit tricky this turn actually. Mm -hmm. I've got to give it to him. Uh, as as you really do want to use the keeper, but. You don't really want to waste the innovate and have the no, no follow-up mm. on the next turn there. Uh, should be interesting to see. Here do you just tap and then abusive trade or...? I think I like that, uh, yeah. Yeah, like Argus and abusive do a bit the same here, so I don't see the reason to coin out an Argus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we keep the coin for later. And like here was the, the innovate was used, and that, like, that can be like a really tempo swing in. Like there is not that much tempo gone now. 
So Thijs, what's your opinion on uh, Bane of Doom we see now from uh, from Mamas here? Yeah, it's like it either works like really insanely, I have to say, and sometimes I I don't feel like it's ever bad. It feels like it's kind of mediocre or and sometimes like one out of the ten times maybe you just win the game because of that card so yeah. i actually can understand it by playing it it's rarely bad actually mm -hmm. you will have to get the blood in right and uh, other than that when you get a free two flame event or a free free voiter you're still fine it's a decent minion yeah i actually don't don't play it myself when i'm playing midlock i'm just too unlucky for that card sadly yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> it's a card you have to like actually mm -hmm. But I guess yeah, you can be happy even if you get a three drop, like an imp gang boss, you know, for five mana, get deal two damage. Yeah, the pit lord, doom guard, like there are a lot of actually good things. Like Jerexus is also insane against it. Like you have a lot of good things to that come out. So I can understand if he plays it here. How do you like this instead of just going for Argus uh, trade and saving the coin for uh, Doctor Boom on six? I, I like this better. Uh, Argus will be more useful. When you have an immediate trade and, and making a two uh, two attack void color is uh, void walker is not going to do that much, I think. Uh, but yeah, this shuts down a lot more. I feel. Yeah, this is going to be a keeper. Like with the swipe and rev, you have a really good turn six play. You have two two seven drops already. So yeah, I totally understand this keeper. And time for the bane of doom, it seems. Yeah, I guess so. Time like to roll. Let's and see. No. oh, oh Illidan. Is wow. <laughs> Is Amaz prepared for Illidan? Wait, is, uh, is Amaz actually that got Illidan? Yo um, Amaz, is the yeah. Amaz is the zoo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yogg is the uh, druid here. Okay, well. I think you know, B BTH is also a key card in this matchup, so even if he just wastes the BTH or, or you know, what looks to be a swipe and, and Wrath here, it's going to be massive no matter what. Yeah, like he has to kill off this Illidan. He has no. He's not gonna kill Illidan. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, a yes swipe still for the next turn, so it makes actually some sense. There are no spells for Amaz, so he will not get that much value out of this Illidan. Other than oh, there is a spell. With the it's juggler. really gonna play into and swipe, but with Juggler, man, that's gonna be insane. Yeah. But the swipe on the following turn should be equally insane. Uh, but what can you do about it? There's not not much you can do. You gotta just gotta take the chance there. Uh, Definitely, when you only see three cards, you, you would expect a swipe maybe last turn. What about like Juggler and uh, then Defender of Arcus, the Flame of Astronaut and the Juggler? That seems strong, mm. they're going face with the uh, Illidan. Can also be good, I can kind of like that play. Yeah. But with but this, I, if I there's can, no I can swipe. Really, I can really, really understand here the implosion actually. I think, I think Defender. What oh wow! Is it gonna get like the Illidan now? No. Oh wow! This is actually really good that you buffed the other two. So I didn't even know that it was working this way. You have oh to yeah. play this with yeah. Illidan more. Mm. Ooh! I have to play this with it as well. That's a pretty important pickup, I would say, because there was no way he could kill the Illidan off. But he really doesn't want to use it on Illidan, you know, as we see uh, Doctor Boom in a master's hand already. But yeah, I mean, this maybe comes down to Amaz having played since early beta, so he's probably had a lot of crazy scenarios. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 Milhouse Mana Storm. Yeah. What is happening this game? Uh, Illidans, Milhouses. Oh, man. It seems like Amaz's game, yeah. games are almost uh, always the most interesting ones. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We should see the Dr. Boom come down now. I don't know what y'all can actually do to counter that. Yeah. You see Big Game Hunter gone, you see Swipe gone, like two pretty important answers on this board. So, ah, uh, yeah, Dr. Boom is really insane. He'll just have to play Engine of War and uh, hope the bombs are bad. Actually, uh, the turn before, I wouldn't have mind him to trade the 3 1 in instead of the 2 2. What do you think about that? Into the BTH. Hmm. I think it uh, gives him more damage because it's like six points of damage on the on Hero. It's one more damage, but it's less. Uh, it's more vulnerable to swipe, I guess. Also, possibly wrath, but I think it looks now if uh, if uh, Yogg can stabilize for maybe like four turns, three or four turns, he will win. But Amaz just seems to have such a strong tempo go going now. I mean, imagine an owl. Oh, the juggler. Yeah, equally and normally a strong. war is like a, a one of the key cards where you win the game with. But at this board, it doesn't even seem that good. Mm -hmm. Can pretty. Yeah, it, it's, it depends what the bombs are going to do. I, I, can, I, I can actually understand like knife juggler implosion here because then you have the maybe a knife on the mill house and then your bombs can get a bit more efficient. Are uh, you ambitious and try to get uh, 
Ancient of War dead by Juggler Implosion. Juggler Implosion first, and then you attack with the bombs into whatever is left. I just like, like, it just feels a bit bad if the bomb only gonna hit one on the mill house or something like that. I, I would just like to, and well like, the, the swipe was already so good. So you start with Juggler Implosion, and there's a huge possibility that mill house is going to die. I think I would start mm -hmm. with the tap, actually, to be honest. Ooh. <laughs> that he still kills his off. That makes a lot so. of sense, because you, you do tap here. Yeah. No tap. Is, what? He, is he playing around double combo in the mid? I mean, he's only got two With two cards? Yeah. Is I will just tap here. I don't see a reason to not tap. Amaz just uh, shakes his head. Yeah, double Doom Guard, not really. He knows, like, oh, evil casters will say this is bad sequence. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't understand, like, tapping here at the end. It's not always bad. Yeah. I wonder if he was actually looking for the uh, innovate into mind control attack there. Mm -hmm. Might have actually been the scenario. All right, so Amaz takes game number mm -hmm. one with his Warlock against that Druid. But the, the match is not over yet. Yogg can still come back. He has the, the Warrior. Is it Green Patron? I actually don't know. I, I thought that I've, I'm not pretty sure, but I think Maverick played Control Warrior. So. I, I faced uh, Torque from Lenium yesterday, and he was playing Control Warrior. Oh, well. he was yeah. also playing Control Warrior. Then I will say that he is most likely Control Warrior. Oh, he's actually... Uh, there is a loot hoarder, so it seems like it's a uh, green patron with shield block and shield. Yeah, slam. it's a it's a deck that probably that Nerea made also a bit popular, where you also use shield block, shield slam to give a bit more options in the mirror match, a bit more in the control matches. Do you think this version is better? It's hard to say. I actually don't. I have to. S I didn't really play this version, and it seems like like some matchups uh, improve a bit, like where the game pattern uh, struggles a bit. You have some bit more removal, so. That's maybe the answer, but I really don't know in what matchups is it like really better. Uh, Kaldi, what do you think about this matchup then? This Green Patient Warrior with Shield Slam, Shield Block versus the... Is it Midrange? Hunter? Seems it like looks like kind of high-end hybrid. Like it's either yeah. hybrid or midrange. Uh, it looks like hybrid to me. Uh, but o overall, if it's, if it's hybrid, then I'd give a slight edge to... Uh, to the warrior if he has shield blocks. If he doesn't have shield blocks, I'd give a slight edge to the hybrid, actually. Uh, I think if you run shield slam, you, you, you should run shield block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that should be the case. So then then I'd, uh, I'd definitely keep the edge to the hybrid there. Hmm, interesting scenario. We have some loud live audience. It's really cool to watch Harson live, by the way, with your friends next to you, and then commentate what is happening. Aww, a layock. Wow. Not really helpful on this board, actually. The worst. Or yeah. is that a freezing trap? I guess it's a freezing trap. It's like pretty. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't mind like, not popping that trap right now. Could like so wait, wait until next turn, you know, draw a card from the uh, Akkad and then, then pop the trap. He's probably a bit scared of uh, Eagle Hornbow because then he could just kill off the Acolyte easily. That's true, yeah. Uh. But I mean, it's unlikely. Yeah, it's, it, it was pretty unlikely because that was a really good turn already. Mm. So give, you, do you give up one, one draw for for maybe a one in one in four that he has a bow? Oh wow, right. Warsong is such an important card here with the Torison and Froding already in his hand. Yeah, that that Torison is gonna come out next turn, I think. Well, there is a high main now, so maybe you feel a bit scared and that you are forced to deal with the high main here. But still, Emperor is not that bad on this board. With Emperor, yeah. you are preparing for the kill. So Hunter is not going to kill you now, or make in two turns also. Might be forced to trade into Torison. And you do have all the combo pieces. Yeah, he, he could actually like gun roll when Battle Rage execute and draw a whole ton of cards. Uh, I mean, with this kill command here on the board, this is looking decent for Yogg, actually. Unless well, he how overextends. How much, I mean, how much, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it looks... Uh, if yeah. a mass overextends, then Yogg will be able to snatch the game with Frodding Warsong. And with the quick I mean, Yogg will have to clear this now. There's no, no waiting with this. Mm -hmm. So you, you go with... Do you, can you play Acolyte and then Whirlwind Executes? You have to execute here. Um. There's a shield block as well. I guess he's really looking for that, where you can like just wow in the the hyenas away. It's pretty expensive, but 
Like you can do it with charging the frothing or acolyte. Oh yeah, you can either do it with both. Wow. That Why wouldn't you whirlwind first? I mean you have to clear everything. Oh yeah, yeah and double whirlwind, but Yeah, now you clear everything. No, it's just and you deal a ton of damage, but there yeah. is Iron Bigao and Quickshot for Amas to stop it. But that's a nice gamble. Uh, there was a possibility that the hand is like a Monty Creeper, maybe. Yeah, but it still like it almost deals all like 30 damage is a lot. A lot of credit to Yok mm -hmm. there. I mean, he shot the play player really fast, so I'd definitely say that he's a guy that's played Patron a ton. Now, Slot Belter is decent, but Amas really doesn't want to give up the quick shot. What do you guys think about maybe? Belcher, Owl on the uh, frothing and, and kill the Warsong. I like it. It shuts down both creatures, protects you. You're at 17. You don't really want to give up, I guess, the, the quick shot right now. No, oh, I think Belcher with an all is like pretty okay here. You mm -hmm. can kill off the Warsong anyway, so. And you definitely need quick shot to draw a card because you're out of team. You play those cards and you're only with quick shot. But we see like, two shield blocks for Yawk and what well, seems to be mm -hmm. endless draw on top of that. So I don't think Amaz is really thinking that there are any shield blocks or... Sh he didn't see a shield slam or anything yet. Like surprising. I will just say, if you didn't know Yok, I will just say that he's playing in standard game Petron at the moment. Mm. Especially being so, so aggressive. So, two cards for one mana. Harrison Jones as well. A pretty nice deck. Definitely, it comes, comes really in handy against the Hunter. Mm. This seems to be... About the same deck I faced against like Impact yesterday, and uh, I was playing Hybrid Hunter in that match, and I, I, I did, did lose to this, uh, this uh, I guess, Patron deck with Harrison and Shield Block. A lot of tech cards like Counter Hunter, and also, I guess, in the mirror. Okay, Mad Science is not really useful if two Freezing Traps are gone. Maybe he plays like one Explosive or one Snake. Uh, people, some people really like to play three Traps, but. Doesn't feel that good. He definitely wanted something like uh, <laughs> a second summon <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> well, Okay, <laughs> well, so he played three traps, but. Okay, the good news is <laughs> double whirlwind was already used. That's true, that's actually true. And Death's Bite was used as well into Leon. So. Uh, well, a Warson Commander can really, <laughs> still with the pattern, can just kill off all the spiders. I think the thing to know is like, uh, you know, uh, I, I guess Yawk might just think this is still freezing trap, you know, and, and, and play around that. I mean, there were already two freezing traps gone, so... Mm -hmm. But by, uh, this is really interesting, playing in 3-3 game pattern. The bow is huge here. Wow. I wonder what he goes for. He has out of steam. I would say you killed his pattern <laughs> off before it goes bigger. Yeah, because you have no way to stop uh, the pattern. But yeah. if you go for face, how much damage is that? That's 10. 10, yeah. Yeah, but you c cannot not no. kill the patron. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> no, it feels like the patron, it feels really good on the board with all the two attack creatures, so... I can understand the play from Yogg, but it was pretty ballsy with hoping Amas is not going to draw anything that helps against it. I think to know that at least is that he played it on an empty board, so that kind of gives off the impression that, you know, that Yogg doesn't have a lot mm -hmm. of um, cards to buff it. He could also attack first if it was like e something. Yeah, check what's that. Oh, and that's Warsong, so now after losing the patron. This is really oh, weird, that's a actually. Nice one. He's playing like he knows. What's he knows on? he is Snake, I think, yeah. because he goes immediately to the face with even playing Krill, so he probably did his homework. Yeah, maybe he was scouting a mouse yeah. to see what's happening. And yeah, that's that's like a, an actually an advantage if you are with more. Uh, players in the tournament, like there's probably someone from Millennium that also faced Amaz already or saw something of his game. So, uh, you're uh, talking about Amaz who brought how many players here? Six, six, or, six se or seven. Six yeah. or seven. Okay, but I guess the guys mm -hmm. are resting at the at the hotel. Yeah. It's it's not like Firebad is is going around places and, and sniping and doing notes. Yeah, I think I think Backspace actually may be doing that. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, it's part of the winning strategy. Yeah, it really, really does does matter. Okay, um, this seems to be going here in. Uh, uh, yeah, it is lethal here. Yeah, definitely. All right, so Yog is taking game number two. Ties the series versus Amaz. Knows it's snake trap. No surprises mm -hmm. there. Well played. So it seems like that one pretty much um, as expected. Uh, looks like it's gonna be what hunter against ramp through. Now this is. Historically, the hard counter to ram through it is uh, 
I think the main main uh, thing to note is if uh, Amaz actually runs a Hunter's Mark. I think it's unlikely that he runs a Hunter's Mark, but if he does, he will be in a, in a great position here. Still, it doesn't really feel like heavy render. Like, it plays Shredders, it plays Lotus. Like, normally you would say, yeah, there are like, some Sengins in it or Belchers, but it's like it looks really like a, a counter for Freeze Mage with Lotep, Gazans, and mm, maybe just Ancient of War. Ward. Like, that's the only card that I really see as a Rand Root card in the set. So, uh, Thais, you played a lot of Druid, um, mm. like, not say recently, but like uh, this year. Is double Wild Growth alright, or do you hate the second Wild Growth? Normally, like, if you have, like, uh, cards like Ancient of Lore and Sylvanas, it's really insane. You, like, you draw back, but with double Wild Growth, you really need to draw it, because normally, you just, like, get really out of your cards, and you don't have anything to follow up. And against Aggro, and I will say against Hunter, it's not even that good, double Wild Growth. It can be just w be too slow. There is the Hunter's Mark. Oh, wow. So yeah, against the uh, aggressive decks, Innovate is much more important than Wild Growth, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, for that tempo, but we do see uh, here a second one could come down. Foul where you want to be with ramp through it, honestly. Uh, you basically, you play Sylvanas into their animal companion. It's like they play Misha plus oh, Sylvanas. Amas throwing all the traps last turn, the snake. And that's a Misha, I called it. Do you think there's a chance he's running Cold Master? Amas? Yeah. Uh, he played it before, I believe. I have no time it's unlikely, but it is possible. Yeah, with the snake trap. So, is this going to be an all? Like, we know it's snake trap, but it's more likely that it will be a freezing trap. Well, do you just silence it? There's a couple of ways you can deal with Sylvanas. You can obviously ignore Sylvanas, which is bad because there is wrath. You can silence it. You can uh, enable the freezing trap. If you if you're going to silence it, you really give away that this is snake trap. I think you just trap in hero power, honestly. You can also just attack with a mad scientist to get the freezing trap out. Kay. The thing is, though, like if he's gonna attack, he'll pop the uh, snake trap, so the Sylvanas effect will be pretty minimal, I'd say. He also knows that it's uh, an ancient of war for Yogg, at least somewhere in the deck, so I thought he'd gotten more out of the waiting with that owl. There's also no swipe for Yogg, for now at least. So the snake trap will be pretty effective. It's pretty much giving it away, I guess. By yeah, I yeah. think Yogg will know now it's snake trap. Otherwise, there was no way to, no reason to play the all. Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, if there will be Druid of the Claw, there is one, and Raf, then you just yeah. charge with Druid of the Claw. I actually totally agree with this Ancient of War, but it's gonna be really painful when he sees that Hunter's Marking coming on it. Yeah, that's for sure. And there is Eagle Hornbow as well. Wow, this bow. He can even get like a freezing trap now if he attacks with the Mad Scientist. So Hunter's Mark, the 510, Mad Scientist, play the bow, hero power, attack with the rest, and you're good. And that's uh It's also six, a lot of damage. Nine eleven points of damage. You pull your mm -hmm. opponent at eight, you have a freezing trap, you have a snake trap set up. Amazing turn. I actually slightly prefer uh, going for the Belcher. I don't know. I, I feel like if you go for the bow here, it's not as much mana utilization and you're also in a bit more trouble against the Harrison. That's actually 10 points of damage with the, with the bow and hero power. Like, I, I would have gone for that if you, if you had more aggressive cards. You have to kind of play the hybrid hunter to your hand. So if you have wolf fighters and arcane golems, you know, you, you can really go aggressive. But I feel with this hand... But with eight, with 8 power and you have a bow, like, uh, and you, you know your hero power, like... He, the uh, Jock is really on the clock now. He really has to yeah, do true. something fast. So he fishes for force. Ooh. I actually really like that player. Going for the Druid. Okay, so the Abuse of Charge and it's probably coming, coming out here because it gives a pretty good trade. Sergeant Belcher? Because uh, if you hero power, you don't put uh, your opponent at the hero power range next turn. So it's better to develop the board. I kind of prefer Haunted, but it's... it's uh, yeah, I'm it's thinking of Haunted too. Then you have, like, with the bow, you can... You deal 5 damage, you put him at 3. But this gives more control on the board. And uh, a taunt forces him to attack into it if he chooses to attack. So still enables... Okay, attacks here, interesting. That's fine. He's a bit scared of cards like Harrison. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. This That's a swing card. <laughs> yeah. But it's like the snake trap is from one side it's really good to steal because you don't you can't deal with the snake and otherwise you don't attack. Is it even do you even wanna wanna Kazan here? Is it good? If you play Kazan and you steal a snake trap, you're dead. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think there are better times to play Kazan yeah. than right now. You rough for one first, yeah. Yeah. See what you get. Engine of war would be nice. I don't think this is like heavy ram root. There is like still double roar. Mm. It's like just an. It looks like just with an ancient. The only, only thing the ancient of war like really figures says to me that it is a, it is some kind of ram. But that's like the only card. Yeah, when I'm playing at the beginning mm -hmm. of the season, uh, I'm playing through it. I, I often you know cut the doctor boom for uh, ancient of war. And and cut, I, I guess a four drop and then go for the uh, the Kazan. Could also maybe uh, he needs the snake, right? He got the freezing. freezing. Wasn't it uh, better to attack? No, that is not possible. Oh, you have to trigger. Right yeah, you have to trigger both. Then it's not possible. So can he survive now? I think so. I like forcing first. So yeah. the juggler can't possibly hit. He's so is he how surprised are by the snakes? No. How are the Jigglers gonna hit? Is he going to lose the trends? Not yet? No. Doesn't, they are all green, so I don't think so. What about actually going for the attack on the... Yeah, I was thinking... Yeah, was it the... Like, now you have like a pretty bad trade. Are you, you're stuff, dead, yeah. right? He had to attack with the lore, then he called trade better. He just had to get a bit more lucky with not hitting that one knife on one of the trends, but it won't save him, like he's still dead here, so yeah. he probably had to take a bit more time to think this play a bit more over. Uh, was he not dead if he attacked with 5-5? Five five? And then he called trade, he called trade with one trend in the one to slime, he called trade the knife jiggler away and trade one of the snakes away and still had one yeah, who Sylvana, so oh yeah, haunted and, and two, two. Uh, I think he's five with one or two HP. Two snakes left, haunted and two snakes. That's five. And then Amas has to top deck something, and he has double savage in his hand. So and four. Oh wins. no, he played the force, but double savage with a lot double of creatures. Savage, yeah. So I'm not sure. Like he did it so fast that I couldn't really see it. But seems like almost anything yeah. from Amas that would have sealed the game. Yeah, maybe he got stressed there. Yeah. All right, so Amas in the lead, two to one, and we are starting game number four. Druid mirror. Druid mirror. So how good Kazan Mystic is in Dreamer? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bad shredder with no <laughs> nothing that comes out of it. Like all the tech cards, he really hurt you in the mirror. You don't want to play any tech cards. The like okay, low tap is pretty good and HL bar is actually good. But like normally, all the tech cards really hurt you in the mirror. Oh, match. Wow, wild oh, grip wow. top deck for Yogg. I think it was. I think it was for Amaz actually. Was it Amaz? Or not? Okay. It's a bit crazy. Um, I sometimes play uh, mind control tech and, and, and through it, and it, in the mirror it becomes very interesting mm. with Dr. Boom, play for uh, my opponent, yeah. I tend to get very lucky uh. with mind control tech somehow. Yeah. Oh wow, he picks up a really good curve here. And we see from, like if you look from Jokic's side now, I'm pretty sure that will, oh, oh. oh. Boom? Oh. Is it boom turn? Yeah, this is a boom turn. Wow. Dr. Tree, there he is. I really hope there is no VGH. <laughs> but there is one. From us. Do you actually attack here with your shade into one of the bombs? Hero power the bo other bomb? Like it feels so bad to hero power the bomb now and then your shade dies. <laughs> well, I you can you attack first, right? I think you attack first with the shade. Uh, shade. Yeah, oh shade. man, <laughs> can the shade survive? Oh, it survived. Oh wow. And now if you st I will attack here because the big game hunter is also 2 HP. I would s yeah, I like this. Wow, pretty good outcome for Amaz here. Yeah, really that's good. That worked really well. Probably the only only time we, we see you know do, uh, double enemy Doctor Boom not working out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally it's like the winning play. Even oh, though even though Yog is cleaning the board here, his hand looks so bad. He has a combo, mm -hmm. but he has no mid range creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like an a uh, keeper of the Grove is it's like one of the best cards against aggro. Some sometimes against control, it's also good. But in the mirror, it's so bad. Like it's all you, all the four mana, five mana creatures just traded away. He got love up that's something, but then the Torison is going to stay. Yeah. One more turn. Amaz is just gonna ignore this low tap, playing two of his creatures. Yeah, so, so good. So powerful. It's not like he has the cards that you really want to get cheaper, but I think to notice that Amaz played the Paladin in the mi mi middle of the three minions. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's definitely just comes with the experience because he knows there's a possibility of a, a die wolf alpha or, or a flame tongue totem so he definitely remembers putting it in the middle there okay wild growth really good card in the mirror but not at turn six it's like the worst turn i'm most most of the times to draw it absolutely is, uh, is, there, is there anything that you can do to still I mean silence yeah but still yeah wow Although going face. face well he has a combo next turn Maybe Amaz or something. This might be his last chance if Amaz ignores that, the fact that there is a coin and a possible combo. I think you're a bit scared now. Like, well, Yok is playing really fast also, but I think you're a bit scared now of that after that you see him going so f for the face. There's like no reason not to kill the low tap though. You might uh, read it as desperation. Like, you can also just ref first for one on the, on the low tap right and then swipe afterwards. Like, keepers are not good anyway here. I will just ref for one first. It feels yeah, like through it is just pure tempo and yeah. like you win in two turns with this board. You so might, you might actually clear everything. Just uh, yeah, as yeah. you said, like rough double keeper and trade into two mm -hmm. four. And you you will have lethal next turn, right? With like Should double be, yeah. double keeper. I will really ref for one here, just, just to get a card draw now in it. Yeah. And there is no point. Thinking now because you are getting a card anyway, so the situation might change. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going for the swipe. And is he going to play double keeper or something? Maybe he wants to silence it on. That's why he's. Uh is there a better time to play Wrath though for one now? All right, so he keeps the one of the keepers for a possible silence into the zone next turn. Yeah, I like Set keeping one keeper. If you know he plays Ancient of War and stuff, so I like keeping one keep, keeping the keeper. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I think you can't, kinda can't go wrong here. It's all it's 10, 14, 16 damage on board, so he <laughs> Oh man, another one <laughs> wild crows. Getting them at turn six, seven, it's uh pretty so painful. Somebody was cutting them for from Druid <laughs> because he hated the card. I don't remember who was that. Oh Okay, okay so going doomsayer. for the Doomsayer. And Oh, no. it's a dumb sayer, so Get that's it. Yeah. Amas is going to take the, the series versus mm -hmm. Yogg. 3 and to 1. He 3 0 the Druid from Jog, right? It was a yeah. oh, it was a 3 0 on the With Druid, so decks. yeah. Well, well really good well really good series I would say from Amas. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. but he is not there yet. He needs not to win yet. one more match, uh, one more series to to advance to, to tomorrow. But uh, still, a very good performance from Amaz, and we are going to invite him right here for the interview. He is coming at this very moment. Hello, hello. She's getting the headset wrong way. Welcome, Jason. Congratulations hey. on the win. How do you feel? Uh, feels good. Um, when I lost the first uh, round of like the whole tournament, I was like, oh god, this is going to be an uphill battle, and now it's really close. Mm -hmm. We just need to win one more for top 8, right? So yeah, um, throughout the series, everything kind of went pretty smoothly. Uh, a lot of the more tense games was actually off stream, where I actually started 0-2 in like oh, three wow. series in a row. <laughs> and then wow. just reverse sweeped, it's like, wow, that was just like very frustrating and very, mm -hmm. um, very tense, but I'm glad to be here. Did you know that when you... Um Play Defender of Argus that is going to buff Illidan's uh, minion. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I mean, there's no point in buffing Illidan anymore, right? I mean, it's a seven-five. No, but making it eight-six yeah. is not. Yeah. It's they, no but bigger. did you knew if you play it that way? Oh that yeah, it yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because we were thinking of it and we didn't knew it that fast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of weird, right? It spawns minions yeah. and then and then mm -hmm. it does that. But yeah, I knew that before, so it worked out. And why did you save the keeper um, in the last match, Drew versus Drew? Oh, because of Ancient of War, I guess. Yeah. Just in case. I mean, I knew he couldn't combo and kill me because he used double innovate already. But then, uh, I guess just be extra careful, right? Yeah. I mean, to be extra careful, maybe I shouldn't have hit with the Shredder because he could have hero power the Doomsayer. But uh, I can't think of everything <laughs> on the spot, I guess. You can't play, you can't yeah. just play, or you can't play around right, Doomsayer right, right, always. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we were wondering because like Yogg has his teammates and Team Millennium uh, maybe told him what kind of traps are you running in your deck. Okay. Did you have Arkham team members scout for you? Like uh, backspace is walking around the players and like taking notes? Oh, playing what? no, not really. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can kind of mm -hmm. tell, I guess. Just play your best. Mm -hmm. and Yeah. 
that was pretty, out on uh, spot, you know. It was pretty interesting because he just knew you played Snake Trap. Oh, he, he just knew? Attacked, yeah, yeah, he attacked yeah, he me attacked so fast. Face, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I guess face, that's so. not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it worked out. Yeah. All right. I'm kind of I'm kinda interested about the Snake Trap, actually. Like, do you run a Cold Master in the deck? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. um, because people are not expecting Snake Trap these days. I figure I might as well just put one in. Um, the other one was Explosive, kind of. Or just no traps at all, right? Just, like, uh, two, two freezing. But um, yeah. I feel like people are going to make a mistake and try it, like, especially with Double Knife Juggler uh, that I have. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to work out. I'm also going to screen now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wait, I beat a... Oh, god damn, it's an angry chicken. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that's uh, the rank 25 player that won the best that, that was him? Okay. I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he, he ran a very good mage list. Did you see that? Like, it's I know really that. Yeah. 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 Oh but well. you lost. <laughs> I did lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But I'm winning this one, so yeah, yeah, That's it's good. a pretty good score. All right, yeah. so um, congratulations on the win, and uh, both you and Kaldi, you have to win the next match. Oh man! You might actually face each other. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. This is the Swiss, so the RNG. five months. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get uh, easy opponents and then win in advance uh, to tomorrow. So I think mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. Uh, for, for joining mm -hmm. us here, and again, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, we are ready to go into the break. Uh, I'm not sure who is playing next, but we are going to have the next round. Round seven starting in a moment, and then we're going to select a couple of matches for you guys. Right now we're ready to go into the break, so don't go anywhere, stay tuned.